Marvel Cinematic Universe fans have known that Spider-Man Far From Home would follow Avengers Endgame by only two months. It isn't until recently, though, that we really started to comprehend why. While Endgame was originally believed to be the movie to end MCU's Phase 3, it turns out it'll really be Far From Home. The follow-up to Spider-Man Homecoming serves as a coda to everything that happened in Endgame. That means it won't just continue the story of Peter Parker, it'll also show us how the world changes after Iron Man's snap. It also means that Far From Home will be full of juicy details that are important to Spider-Man and to the MCU as a whole. Here, we're talking about everything we know about Far From Home, from the new characters that will appear to the introduction of the multiverse. But be warned, there are major spoilers ahead. If you haven't seen Endgame or you want to go into Far From Home knowing as little as possible, turn back now. We've known since the first teaser trailer for Far From Home dropped in January that Nick Fury would appear in the movie. Fury turned to Ash in Avengers 3, but fans have long speculated that his presence in Far From Home meant that Thanos' snap would be reversed. That led to speculation that Maria Hill, who also turned to Ash, would be resurrected too. No one knew for sure, though. That led to speculation about a shot in the teaser where Fury and a woman shoot at an elemental. Some believe that this was Captain Marvel. Both Fury and Hill were seen towards the end of Endgame, however, after being snapped back into existence by Hulk. And now it's been confirmed that Fury's right-hand woman will be appearing alongside him in Far From Home. And that she's the woman that appeared in that teaser trailer shot. Kobe Smolders, who played Hill, took it upon herself to correct any misconceptions. She posted the image on Instagram and captioned it, quote, It's me, it's me, I swear, no really, yes, the one on the left, no, not the monster, the one with the ponytail, end quote. So we'll soon see Maria Hill back in fighting form. While Far From Home includes some familiar faces, it will include several new faces as well. Some of the most groundbreaking additions to the cast are two trans actors, Zach Barack and Tyler Luke Cunningham. Homecoming established that Peter Parker lives in a diverse world, as anyone would expect of a character who grew up in New York City. Now Far From Home will continue that tradition. In the movie, Barack will play Peter Parker's friend and Cunningham will appear as a featured extra. With everything sure to be going on in Far From Home, fans may not spend too much time thinking about this development. However, given the global appeal of the MCU, CU films, the casting choice will go a long way toward increasing visibility for trans people. Speaking of new characters, there are two well-known actors that will have roles in the upcoming film. First, J.B. Smoove will be accompanying Peter Parker and his pals on their European trip as one of the group's teachers, Mr. Dell. According to Far From Home producer Eric Carroll, the comedian will team with the returning teacher, Mr. Harrington. Together, the duo will, quote, constitute the least capable group of chaperones ever to be sent to Europe with a bunch of kids. The pair will serve as comic relief as the fantastic events of Far From Home unfold around them. In addition, Crazy Rich Asians actor Remy Hai will be making his MCU debut in the movie. His casting was announced in August of last year, but now his role in the movie has been confirmed. High will play a student named Brad Davis who is part of the school group that travels to Europe. He'll rival Peter for MJ's affections, which will ensure that the high school melodrama of Homecoming will still be a part of Far From Home. Yet Brad isn't a bully. He isn't even mean. He's just one of those guys who gets along well with people, which includes MJ. Peter's jealousy leads him to use the technology he gets from Nick Fury to try to make Brad look bad. According to producer Carol, this ends up backfiring when he almost destroys the bus he and his friends are on with weaponized drones. Yikes. There's one more addition to the cast that may be of special interest. Homeland actor Numan Akar will appear as a character named Dimitri. For Spider-Man fans, this should set off an alarm bell. Dimitri is the first name of the alter ego of noted Spider-Man antagonist Chameleon. In an interview, Far From Home director John Watts wouldn't confirm that Dimitri is Chameleon, but he did say that he works for Nick Fury. He also teased that, quote, anyone who works for Nick Fury, they certainly have have a mysterious past, end quote. So one way or another, it seems Dimitri will have a shady backstory. Even if that backstory isn't given much screen time in the movie, it could mean that there's more to the character than initially seems. After all, Homecoming introduced several characters who hadn't yet completely embraced their Marvel alter egos. That includes Mac Gargan, who is Scorpion in the comics, but hasn't gone that direction in the movies, yet. It's possible that Dimitri could become his comic book counterpart, or that it will only be a tease in Far From Home. Either way, signs point to Chameleon making an appearance in the MCU in the near future. When the most recent trailer came out for Far From Home, it included a scene where MJ confesses she knows that Peter is Spider-Man. Right now, it's unclear if she knew before the trip or came to the conclusion during it. What we do know for sure, though, is once she finds out, Peter starts including her in his secret. A brief new promo clip shows MJ in Peter's hotel room as he changes into Spidey's brand new stealth suit. Ned walks in on the scene, and an agitated Peter claims he told MJ the truth, but MJ clarifies that she figured it out herself. MJ and Peter's relationship hasn't been conventional so far, and MJ's discovery of Peter's alter ego could add another interesting wrinkle into their dynamic. 
One thing both the teaser trailer and the full-length Far From Home trailers made clear is that it's Nick Fury who recruits Spider-Man in Europe. Peter is reluctant to dive back into the fight given everything that happened in Endgame, but it looks like Fury is unwilling to take no for an answer. Peter is still mourning the death of Tony Stark, and Fury seems like a good option to pick up where Tony left off. There's only one problem. The two don't really see eye to eye. Fury is willing to work in the moral gray areas that innocent Peter hasn't encountered yet. Fury has long operated from the shadows and done what it takes to manipulate things to his advantage. On the other hand, Peter views the world in black and white, right and wrong. He's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man whose optimism and strong moral compass make him a symbol of hope. Attempting to work with Fury will naturally make Peter uncomfortable in a way that working with Stark never did. According to producer Eric Carroll, Peter, quote, gets wrapped up in this sort of spy adventure being driven by Fury and getting more and more caught between how he wants to operate and how he's being told he should operate, end quote. Fury believes that Spider-Man is essential to his fight against the film's bad guys, the Elementals. Yet, it looks like the clash between Fury and Peter will create a rift between the two that could lead Peter to striking out on his own. It's been confirmed that the film's antagonists are a group of beings called the Elementals, and they're based on known Spider-Man baddies. Three of the Elementals will draw their power from Earth, Water, and Fire, and they will connect to the comic villains Sandman, Hydro-Man, and Molten Man who do the same. However, there will also be a fourth Elemental, and this one's a bit more mysterious than the others. It's possible that the fourth Elemental is a combination of all three separate Elementals, or it could be something else. We won't know for sure until the movie comes out. One possibility about the Elementals is that they're somehow tied to Mysterio, who will be a major new character in the film. While the Far From Home trailer indicated that Mysterio will be a hero in the movie, that has set fans' spidey senses tingling. Mysterio is a well-known Spider-Man supervillain, and one of the things he does best is lie and deceive. So fans have speculated that he's lying about being a hero in Far From Home. Yet, director John Watts claims that the movie's depictions of Mysterio are accurate because Mysterio was first seen as a hero in the comics. The truth is a little more than complicated, though. When Mysterio initially appeared in the comics in 1964, he went out of his way to make himself a hero in the eyes of the public. It was all a crafty deception, though, designed to build Mysterio up. Behind the scenes, the character was really a villain. It's possible this could also be true of the Mysterio of Far From Home. If that's the case, he certainly has both Fury and Peter fooled. In fact, Peter may start looking up to Mysterio as the mentor and father figure that he can't find in Fury. Further evidence that Mysterio won't be the hero he appears to be comes from the revelation that Far From Home contains a big twist. What isn't clear is which character the twist involves. Fans have speculated that the twist could involve Mysterio revealing his true colors to Peter. There's some evidence that indicates this might be correct. Producer Eric Carroll compared Mysterio's arc to that of Baron Mordo in Doctor Strange. Fans of the Sorcerer Supreme standalone film will remember that Mordo spent most of the movie as Strange's ally. When Strange messed with the laws of time, though, Mordo loses his faith in sorcery. In the last few minutes of the film, a dark turn is teased, setting the character up as a potential villain for the Doctor Strange sequel. If Far From Home goes a similar route, Mysterio could spend a majority of the film as a genuinely good guy, then in the last few minutes, something could make him change his tune. Or that evolution could happen earlier in the film. Spider-Man himself, actor Tom Holland, has teased that the new movie contains a big scene comparable to a twist that happens in Homecoming. In Homecoming, Peter learns that the Vulture is his date's father, and the Vulture realizes that Peter is Spider-Man. The two have a tense exchange in the car. There's no action, but the two enemies talking ratchets up the stakes in a big way. Holland didn't say who was in the comparable Far From Home scene, but he did say that, quote, audiences will feel like they were punched in the face, end quote. A scene where Mysterio reveals that he's not the hero he's pretending to be could certainly pack the punch that Holland teases. Far From Home also appears to be leaning into the MCU's multiverse. While the concept has been referenced before, especially in the Thor films, after Endgame, it looks like it's going to become more explicitly part of the MCU. In the trailer for the film, Mysterio claims that he and the Elementals are from another dimension. Meanwhile, Fury explains that the snap ripped a hole in the space-time continuum. An extended clip provided more information about the multiverse. Specifically, Mysterio explains that the MCU takes place on Earth-616. He also says 
says that he comes from Earth 833. He seems excited to meet Spider-Man, indicating that there is no comparable hero on his Earth. For those familiar with the comics, these reveals could have major implications in Far From Home and the MCU. Specifically, they may be teasing the introduction of the Captain Britain Corps and Spider-UK. In the comics, Earth 833 is a parallel world where a British man named William Braddock is bitten by a radioactive spider instead of Peter. Braddock didn't become Spider-Man. Instead, he was recruited into the Captain Britain Corps and was given the codename Spider-UK. The Captain Britain Corps operates across the multiverse, and once Braddock left his universe to be a part of it, he never came back. A leak of an action figure for the movie provides further proof of the introduction of Spider-UK. The action figure sports a new Spider-Man suit, and it looks a lot like the one Spider-UK wears in the comics. So perhaps Far From Home won't just tease the Captain Britain Corps, but actually introduce them. Far From Home premieres in just a few weeks, and we can't wait. What part of the movie are you most looking forward to seeing? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Binger for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.